Hello. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review this Onda V961W tablet. I bought this from AliExpress for about £105, including fast DHL shipping. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please subscribe. If we can get a thousand subscribers, then I'm going to give away an iPhone 6 clone called a Goofo. So once we get the outer packaging off, you can see that the actual packaging of the tablet itself is very basic. There's no branding at all, it's just a brown box. And this box contains the tablet, a charging adapter which has a US plug, um, and a micro USB to USB cable for plugging into the charger and probably for data transfer as well. And actually, this brown box rattles inside the uh, shipping box, but thankfully, the tablet didn't get damaged. So, what are the main features of this tablet? Well, it has a 10 inch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 800, and it's running Windows 8.1. I'm currently in line for the Windows 10 free upgrade. This model has a quad-core Intel Atom processor, and each core runs at 1.33 GHz. It also has 2 gigs of RAM, which I chose over the 1 gig version to make sure that it didn't struggle to watch videos and if you had a lot of tabs open on a web browser. And it also has 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and actually when you go and look in my computer, only 24 gigs of that is actually visible. It also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a headphone jack, and a front and rear facing camera. There is a little panel you can remove to reveal a micro SD card slot for extending the storage space, and also a slot for a regular SIM card uh, so that you can use 3G data mobile data when uh, Wi-Fi isn't available. The seller I bought this from advertised that this tablet had an HDMI port, uh, but it doesn't. The only port it does have is a micro USB port, which as I said earlier is used for charging, um, and also you can attach some other USB accessories, like I've got a, a little adapter that allows you to plug an SD card into that or another USB device like a USB wireless keyboard although because it's got Bluetooth you could use a Bluetooth keyboard in fact. Now this isn't a review about Windows 8 but the interface does work very well with touchscreen devices if you're familiar with it and so also if you've used Windows before then you'll find it very easy to uh, get on with this tablet. The battery lasts a full day of use, um, assuming you don't have the screen brightness set to maximum. I found charging to be very slow, but like a lot of devices, it can be improved by turning the device off. The touchscreen works very well, although the Windows interface is very small and fiddly, so you really either need small hands or to use a tablet stylus. The resolution and quality of the screen is good, however the resolution is low compared to laptops or desktop computers, so some programs may refuse to run. So you could also attach a micro USB to HDMI cable if your intent was to plug this into a TV. You could also use Miracast, um, or that sort of thing, to project the screen, the tablet screen, onto another compatible device. Um, so I've used my Amazon Fire TV, uh, but found actually that this mirror casting is, is extremely unreliable. I'd also like to list a couple of problems and a couple of good points. So firstly, on the problem side, I found that the Wi-Fi does drop out if the device goes to sleep and then you wake it up again. So... I have to then disconnect from the wireless network and reconnect. It's not a big problem, but it's a little bit frustrating. A practical point is that the speaker of this device is on the back, which is a bit daft because 
either you're resting the tablet on something, in which case the sound becomes muffled, or if you're holding the tablet up, then the sound is very loud to people that are sitting in front of you, but not very loud for you. So the display only seems to recognise a single point of touch at any time, so accidentally resting an arm or another finger on the other side of the screen will cause it to ignore any other input. Uh, when I created a new user account in the, on this device, um, all the text was in Chinese and impossible for me to read. So I had to look up how to change the default language on the tablet um, in Windows so that I could actually use the device. And still, actually, the version of Office that's shipped with this is all in Chinese. So, I mean, I don't think it's a full version of Office anyway, so I'm not that bothered. And now on to a few of the good points. So this tablet is very cheap. For £105, you would not get a quad-core 10-inch tablet with 2 gigs of RAM in the United Kingdom. So that's good. In terms of performance, I found that for the price, this tablet works surprisingly well. Web browsing um, and using simple applications is a doddle. There's no um, struggling to process stuff at all. Of course, you're not going to be able to play the latest graphically intensive computer games. Now, the tablet is also light, which I think is extremely important for a tablet to be able to hold it up without your arm aching. It's not the best quality, which sounds like a bad point, but actually it does feel quite rugged. It's plastic, and so you feel like you don't have to treat it delicately, uh, as delicately as you might want to treat an iPad. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about this Onda tablet, please leave them in the description box below. And remember, if we can get a thousand subscribers, then I'm going to give away an iPhone 6 Pro. I'm going to go to the next one.